my name is Stu Wild. Uh, I'm a certified neuromuscular therapist and trigger point therapist working out of uh, 360 neuromuscular therapy in Greater Boston. And I'm here in Pennsylvania at the Oakworks factory um, working on a Prolux electric table. And I'm going to demonstrate a technique for uh, three muscles of the shoulder, the subscapularis, the serratus anterior, and pectoralis minor. And I'm going to first, before I do any of the work, I'm going to test Katie to see how well she can externally rotate. And so she's getting to within about 15 degrees of where I want her. And then we'll do a low external rotation as well. And she's about 25 degrees from uh, where I want her. So what we'll do, we'll get Katie to roll onto her side, uh, onto your left side, position the uh, face cradle for her. And I'm just going to raise the table up so that I get the best positioning here. So the first technique I'm going to do, I'm going to support the arm and drop the whole weight of your arm, if you uh, could, into my uh, own arm. And the technique will involve sliding my thumb under the uh, scapula, like so. And just to make sure that I'm in the right spot here, what I'm going to get Katie to do is to internally rotate, which means push your forearm down, good, into my own arm and that way the subscapularis muscle contracts and I can feel it with my thumb. So for the sake of that camera there, there's my thumb and this is the technique for subscapularis and I'll work my way and just do that a little less if you could, just a tiny version of that because this is all about finesse and subscapularis is, can be particularly sensitive so we're going to go easy on subscapularis and I'm just working my way with my thumb. You can't see it on camera so much, but I'm working my, my way through the very lateral fibers on the edge of subscapularis there and doing a thorough job there. Within your pain tolerance there, Katie? Five out of 10 is perfect. Good. Now, the next technique, serratus anterior, involves just a change in my hand position. So all I'm going to do here is slide from my thumb to my finger pads and a broad contact to, to begin. And our serratus anterior attaches from ribs one through nine. And so pretty much I'm, I'm using a broad contact and getting a feel for and a sense for the muscle. And if I was looking for trigger points, the direction would be slightly uh, perpendicular to the ribs themselves, like so. And to get an active component going, what I'm going to do here is get Katie to uh, slowly point her elbow towards me and then retract. So it's a pr pr um, protrusion and a retraction. Of her scapula. And so now I'm getting a good sense of the muscle here with my finger pads with broad contact. And I'll just show you how this is working. Do the same action if you could, please, Katie. Good. And that's uh, serratus anterior. So the third and last technique, I'm going to revert back to my thumb position, but have a look, my fingers are just resting on the rib cage here. And so I'm going to slide along the anterior rib cage and access uh, pectoralis minor. So what I'll get Katie to do here is to s just slide a, a slight shrugging motion, but what I want her to do is emphasize the depression as opposed to the elevation of the scapula there. And I'm looking to access uh, the pectoralis minor in its attachment onto ribs three, four, and five here. And just a smaller version of that, if you could, and maybe a little quicker as well. That is fabulous. So getting a good sense for the roundness and um, strength of that muscle, very powerful muscle. People. Uh, have it uh, way too contracted, those people who work uh, on computers because they're always in a forward flexed position. Good, and then relax. And uh, what we'll do now, I'll get Katie to roll back onto her back and we'll do a retest. So this is just a passive range of motion, seeing where the arm gets to. And what we're looking for is uh, for the forearm to be horizontal with the table. So we're, I'm very happy with that. And then out to the side, just let that arm passively 
and that's almost touching as well. So it's just about five or ten degrees off that uh, there. So if you'd like to find out more about these techniques, um, have a look on our website, 360nmt.com, and I'd like to thank Oakworks for inviting us into their filming studio. Thank you.